Hi everyone, so a while ago I made a video about how we can import custom shoes into Claw 3D and Claw have just released a new update, Claw 7.3 and they've changed the way that we import accessories uh, onto the avatar in a very very positive way so it's now a lot easier to import custom shoes into Claw so I just wanted to make a new video showing the updated way and how much easier it is now to, to get these custom shoes into Claw 3D so let's get started First off, we're going to want to head over to a 3D modeling uh, site. Uh, my one of choice is Sketchfab, and I'm going to be using the same shoe that I used in the last video, which is the Balenciaga Defender. And you can see here we've got the Balenciaga Defender. It is the left shoe only, which works very well. Doesn't need to be uh, both shoes, and I'll show you why. And this one is free as well, so we'll download this 3D model. And I always like to download as a GLB file because I just think it's, it's easier, you know. It, most of them come with the texture and the model all in one. So you don't have to mess about with adding textures and stuff later. So next step is to open Claw 3D and we're going to import an avatar. So the male and the female avatar do have different size feet. So unfortunately you won't be able to make uh, one of these models and, and then import it to both the male and female. You will have to do it separately. So in this tutorial, I'm going to use the female avatar. I'm just going to use the mannequin version downloaded from Claw Connect. And we now need to export this as an FBX file so that we can use it in Blender. So we're going to uh, go File, Export, FBX. And I'm going to name it uh, Claw Female Flat. And when I say flat, I just mean the position of the feet. So when you register in shoes, you can register high heels and flat shoes. So with that in the name, I can I can sort of I sort of know which which models made for flat shoes and which ones made for high heels. And so when you're exporting as an FBX, you do get this pop up window here, and it's very important that we change the scale down here to centimeters. Uh, by default, it is in millimeters. However, you do need to be working in centimeters with the avatar and claw to be able to import accessories. So make sure you change that to centimeters, and we'll press OK. So once that is exported, we'll go over to Blender and we will open a new scene and we'll get rid of the cube and we'll go File, Import, FBX and we'll get in that avatar that we've just exported from Claw. So it will import very small as we're working in centimetres. So we will have to zoom in a little. And now we need to get our shoe in. So as I downloaded mine as a GLB file, I'm going to go Import GLB, go to my download and I'm going to click on the Balenciaga Defender download. Now a lot of people sort of don't understand that you can't just import shoes directly into Claw from different websites. It comes up with error messages saying things like the shoes don't match the avatar and this is exactly why you can see the shoe is completely unaligned from the avatar and that's what we need to do in Blender. We need to get this aligned to the foot. As you can see this model that we downloaded does have a bit of an extra, extra bit over here that we need to clean up. So I'm going to click on the shoe and over here in the top left, I'm going to change to edit mode and I'm just going to highlight and delete the faces and the vertices of this. Okay, now it's completely gone. We're going to go back to object mode. And before we start with the scale, I'm going to change the uh, viewport shading mode over here to material preview. And what this does is it adds the texture to both the avatar and the, the shoe so we can see the difference between them a lot more clearer and you'll see what I mean when we start to get it on the foot with them both being the same color like this it's hard to see if we've got things poking out where they shouldn't be like toes sticking out the bottom maybe so when we change to material preview mode it's a lot easier to pick that up so using the transform tools on the left hand side we're now going to get this shoe on the foot nicely so with this model you can see it's a left shoe so we're going to place this on the left foot of course and of course it's way too big, so we do need to play with the scale on this. I'm going to guess 0 0.3. And when I'm changing the scale of 1, I'm changing the scale of all of them. So the X, Y, and the Z, they're staying consistently the same. Sometimes you do need to make an exception and change one length without changing the others. However, however to keep things in proportion, I'm just going to, I'm just going to change them all together. So now I'm just spending some time getting this using the rotation tool and using the move tool just to get this on the foot. I will possibly have to change the scale again just to see. Yeah, it's a little bit too small. And as you can see, we've got some toe sticking out the bottom here. 
However, if we didn't change over to the material preview mode, you can see it's a lot harder to tell if we've actually got the toe sticking out, especially with this big chunky sole. So that's why we, we change all this. So I'm gonna increase the scale on this just slightly. to 0 0.32. Let's see how that looks. Okay, it needs a bit of work still. Okay, that's great, that's looking fantastic. Now a trick that I like to do to make sure that it's the correct scale is if we click on the avatar, you can see the outline of the foot within the shoe. And if it looks like it fits without anything sticking through, you've got a shoe that fits very well. So sometimes it can be quite deceiving looking at the scale of the shoe. It can look like it fits, but then when you click, you'll see the foot is like really, but when you click on the avatar's leg and you see the outline of the foot, you'll, you'll notice that it really doesn't fit. But as you can see here, we've got a pretty decent fit. We do have a bit sticking out there. So let's alter that. Okay, I think that's looking good. Okay, I think that's perfect, it's looking good. So now, so in the old version of Claw, you used to have to duplicate the shoe, this shoe, and then create the, the right shoe from it. However, in the new update, we only have to have one shoe, uh, and, and Claw will, will make the other one for us. As well as we don't even have to change the name of the mesh anymore over here. The name of the mesh can literally be anything and it will still recognize that it's a shoe. So we'll, let's get this exported now and we'll get it into Claw. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the shoe. I'm gonna go File, Export, as an FBX, and I'm going to save this as uh, Balenciaga Defender. I'm going to change the path mode over here to copy, and I'm gonna click this little box next to it so that the texture comes with it. I'm gonna limit it to selected options so that we don't bring the avatar with us, we don't want the avatar. And the object types, we're only gonna export mesh. And we're also gonna change the uh, transform over here, we're going to change the forward to Y forward instead and Z up and then we're going to press export FBX. So now we're back over into Claw 3D. We're going to come up here over to Avatar and we're going to click register accessory. Now you can see the register accessory box is a lot different now than it was before. We can select the accessory type, we're going to press shoes and we're going to keep this as flats because we're doing flat shoes. And the file here, we're gonna click on this icon and we're gonna locate the shoe that we've just created. In my case, it's the Balenciaga Defender FBX. I'm gonna click open. Now you can see here, we do have our shoe in and it's looking spot on. However, if you have brought your shoe in and it's, it's not looking how it should, there's, it, maybe it's a little bit off in scale, you can actually move this now in Claw, which you never could do before which is amazing, you can make slight adjustments in Claw. If you've messed up the axes, you can change it in here as well. But however, I think the most impressive thing they've added is the option to be able to mirror uh, one of the shoes so that we don't have to do it in, in Blender. So we literally just press mirror creation and you'll see we now have two shoes. Now you can move them independently of each other. So if you mirror one of them and it's ever so slightly out of line, you can move it independently. And then after everything's perfect, we're just gonna press save. And this is where the shoe file is gonna actually be saved. So I like to save mine within the claw file. So I'm gonna locate my avatar folder, female shoes, and I'm gonna save this as fv2 underscore Balenciaga Defender. And just like that, we ha now have a registered shoe. So much more easier than before. And just to show you that it is definitely registered, I'm going to add a new avatar in. And I'll locate the shoes I've just saved. And there they are. We can right click, move avatar and garments to ground. So they're now on the ground. And as you can see, it also works with poses as well as animation. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was a lot easier to follow than the first video. It's great that Claw is improving ways that we can add our own accessories and making it a lot easier for us. Let me know how we get on in the comments.